Hi, it's Karen, and I'm sharing with you as um, a new Helping Hands artist with Deco Art. I am using today these Metallic Luster Wax Metallic Finish products. I have Gold Rush, I have the Radiant Red, and I have Iced Espresso. Um, as you can see, they're in little tubs. They are um, compact. You can add water to them. That would, I want to show. This is a coffee can that I had left over. Um, these little things are just so nice to use to store stuff in. I just couldn't throw it away. So uh, it had a silver, like the inside. It was silver. So what I did, I took my paintbrush, which is a little bit damp, picked up some color. And I started rubbing it on here. Now, um, I, I, I about have the consistency I want. I like that it's redder on this side. I use some of the um, Iced Espresso over here on this side. This is where the tag was. So, I'll be decorating this and covering that part up. But I have a beautiful angel that I'm going to be putting on here. Um, using some craft attitude sheet um, but I have about got all of the silver covered up and then um, as you can see it's shiny just like wax reminds me of wax on a car and I just went like that right there kind of following the um, the line of the can okay now um, I've I've been practicing all week with this stuff and it's just so shiny when it dries it does harden but if you wet it it reconstitutes itself so it's a kind it's a very cool product you're going to be able to do a lot of things with it um, right now I want to be able to come back with some of this gold and hit some highlight areas um, especially now if I had any texture on here uh, that would definitely, you see where the line, uh, the line of the can is, texture is going to be, but I just want like here and there little spots. I'm sorry for the shine. I'm trying to get it where you can see, but there again very very cool effect I like using my finger I can tell like how hard I'm pressing how um, you can see that shine that it gives it's very very cool I really uh, want the top of the can especially to be gold instead of the silver because it's going to be a Christmas kind of thing so you can use a brush you can use a sponge you can use uh, soft cloth you can use any of that. Um, I'm just kind of going around the rim of it. It's really hard not to get it a, the shiny glare on the camera, so I do apologize for that. I do like having the control of my finger. Now, if you if I were to wet what's left of my finger, that too is going to come off. And see. Can you tell the the difference? It's very subtle, and I really really like it. Now the gold seems to have a little bit different consistency, uh, a little harder consistency, drier than the red and the the iced espresso. They they have a little bit more wet consistency. Um, so adding water a little just very lightly adding water to the gold is going to help it spread better okay uh, but I'm getting a very nice iridescent look on here I love it um, I just wanted to share that with you and I'll be right back I will take you through the whole process of decorating the can okay part two I have decided I wanted to stamp some um, 
an image on the back of this before I start layering. So I'm using black archival ink and a poinsettia. It doesn't have to show up great because we're just we're layering, okay? And it is stamping on there nicely. I'm just trying to press as much as I can on there. And it's kind of sticking to my hand. But the thing is, it will, because it is a clean stamp, um, it goes around the round edges of the can. So, oops, there we go. So it's working out good. And the waxed surface is taking the ink very well. So that's good to know. Um, the stamp set is from Mark's Finest Papers. It's one of my most favorite Christmas stamp sets. And um, it's going to match the poinsettias that we're going to be gluing on here. And I think that looks pretty cool, don't you? Um, Alright, now, part two, we are going to, I got this ribbon that I want to glue on. Now, I want to find the seam that's kind of messy, because that's where we're going to start gluing and layering from, so we can cover that seam up, so nobody will be able to tell that there's a seam right there. Uh, I am having trouble trying to find the right glue that's going to hold well. Um, the hot glue did not work. Um, I think we'll put it kind of down here at the bottom. I'm going to try the glossy accents here and we'll see how that does. I'm just going to lay that on there. With this being round, it's going to be it's a little more difficult to get things to work out right, but hopefully this will hold. And we're going to bring this around and we just may need to have some drying time. I need it tight, so I'm trying to hold it because the glue isn't dry yet. Okay. That is going to look nice though because we're still going to put the gold beads around the bottom of it and the top of it. So it's going to be shiny and pretty. And then we'll have these layered poinsettias. So I guess for glue time, you're just going to have to see the finished product. I wanted to try to show it to you in real time, but I just don't think it's going to happen. So I'll be back with the finished product. 